Welcome back. Pakistan's Prime Minister Raja Parvesh Ashraf has agreed to reopen draft cases against President Asif Ali Zardari. The ruling Pakistan People's Party denies that this is a setback for Mr. Zardari, saying that the Prime Minister has done this in consultation with him. Mr. Ashraf, who appeared in the Supreme Court today to face contempt charges for refusing to revive the cases against President Zardari, reportedly told the court that he had instructed that a former Attorney General's letter asking for closure of the corruption cases be revoked. He also sought some time to draft a letter to the Law Ministry sanctioning the reopening of the cases. The court has given him two to three days to do this. It has posted the next hearing on the matter for the 25th of September and said that it wanted it resolved by the 2nd of October. Moving on, a female suicide bomber killed 12 people in Kabul today in the deadliest single attack claimed to avenge a U.S. film that has sparked a week of deadly protests across the Muslim world. The attack brings to more than 30 the number of people now killed in a violent backlash over a YouTube trailer for the film believed to have been produced by a small group of extremist Christians. Security officials said that nine foreigners were among those killed on a major highway leading to Kabul airport and close to a wedding hall when the bomber blew her station wagon up alongside a minivan carrying foreign workers. Clearly perturbed by the two-year ban given to him and his doubles partner Rohan Bopanna from representing the country, ace Indian tennis player Mahesh Bhupati lashed out at the All India Tennis Association. Bhupati termed the tennis body as detrimental for Indian tennis. It has been a roadblock in developing Indian tennis, Bhupati said. He also slammed the Tennis Association and especially its chief, Anil Khanna, by saying that his dirty politics were the reason behind the feud between him and Leander Pace. However, Bhupati also said that he had no choice but to accept the ban, adding that he is in talks with his lawyers over a possible legal action against the ITA. Here the detailed episodes of the personal vendetta the ITA and its dictatorial rule have carried out against me over the last decade. You know, a rebellion, you know, not, it's not going to change anything. I mean, to be honest, I think a lot of, play, a lot of, of these members of the executive committee are passionate about the sport. And, you know, if they actually feel any shame towards what they have not been able to deliver for Indian sport, they should re resign and move on and let the next generation actually do something about it. It's a sensitive issue, and the lawyers have said that I should just leave it till they decide the course of action. Like I said, they're still exploring. So once we decide to take that route, we haven't confirmed that we are then I guess we can address that stuff. Staying with Sports News, the logo for the High Profile Hockey India League was unveiled at a news conference in New Delhi. The High Profile City-based league matches, which are modelled on the cricket's highly successful Indian Premier League, has been extensively backed by the corporate world. The function saw the inauguration of the logo and also the attendance of the league's brand ambassadors in the personas of Indian hockey player Sardar Singh and Australian hockey player Jamie Dwyer. Parliamentary Affairs Minister Rajiv Shukla, also a member of the HIL, stated that such tournaments were necessary for the upliftment of hockey in the country. It will definitely help to promote the Indian Hockey League. It's a great concept. It will provide an opportunity to younger players, players from backward areas to come up and to show their talent. And I would especially like to thank International Hockey Pro Federation for carving out a window of one month for this league, which is very important because if you don't get foreign players, you can't organize such kind of league. And that is a wrap on this bulletin. Stay tuned to NDTV Hindu for more news and updates. Have a good night.